Good afternoon, Dr. Gabriel. My name is Tania Castro, and my partner's name is Tago Singleton, and today we'll be uh, demonstrating the remote DNS Kaminsky attack lab. To begin with the lab setup, we will have three virtual machines um, that represent the user VM, the local DNS server, and the attacker VM. All, all of these VMs will use the same NAT network and uh, will be on the same LAN. As we can see from the ifconfig commands on each of the virtual machines, the IP address of the user VM is 10.0.2.57, and the IP address of the local DNS server is 10.0.2.58, and the IP address of the attacker VM is 10.0.2.59. Now let's move to task 1. The purpose of task 1 is to configure the user VM by adding the IP address of the local DNS server as the name's uh, server in the configuration file called slash etc slash resolve dot conf. We will use the command sudo get it um, slash etc slash resolve conf slash resolve dot conf dot t slash head to access the file. So you can see um name server ten dot zero dot two dot five eight is already added um in the file. So now we exit the file and use the command sudo resolve conf negative u uh, to make the change to the file go into effect. We then uh, test it by using the command dig uh, www.google.com in order to see if the response comes from the local DNS server. We see that it was successful. In task 2, we have to configure the local DNS server by first setting up a forward zone to send all queries to the IP address of 10.0.2.59 for the attacker32.com domain. By doing this, the local DNS server will now try to find the IP address of the attacker32.com name server. We use the command sudo get it slash etc slash find slash named Dot com. We can see how the forward zone is um, supposed to be set up. The next step will be um, to configure where the where to dump the DNS cache, um, and we'll have to turn off DNS SEC and fix the source ports by using the command sudo get it etc slash bind slash name dot con dot options in the file we can see that the options are configured correctly the dnss ec is turned off by um comment it comments out that the line and the source port is set to um 333 33 We'll then uh, dump the cache, flush it, and re restart the DNS server by using sudo rndc dump pdb minus uh, cache and uh, sudo rndc flush and uh, sudo service find 9 restart. In task 3, we have to configure the attacker VM by hosting two um, zones for the attacker's legitimate zone attacker 32.com uh, domain and the fake zone for, for example, .com. 
after we download attacker32.com.zone and example.com.zone, we will modify the files starting with um, attacker32.com.zone by using the command sudo get it attacker32.com.zone. First entry for the for time to live um, represents three days, so the SLA represents um, the the start of authority for the zone transfer. Uh, the NS represents the name server for the zone um, NS attack dot attacker thirty two dot com, which is linked to the attacker thirty two dot com zone entry, and the add and ww um, NS and um, asterisk or star will have the IP addresses of the VM. Or for the attacker VM. Okay. Next, uh, we'll use the command sudo get it example dot um, com dot zone. In this case, um, the only thing we need to modify is the IP address of NS to the IP address of the attacker VM. Then move to um, move both um, zone files to the slash etc slash find directory. We then uh, will add the two zone entries to the etc etc slash find named dot com using the command sudo get it slash etc slash find slash named uh, dot com and view the entries uh, already already present. And um, the last thing that we do for um, task three is to restart the DNS server. In the first part of um, task four, we have to test the setup on the user VM by using the command dig uh, ns.attacker32.com to get the IP address from the attacker32.com uh, zone entry. We then um, run the command dig www.example.com to send a query to our local DNS server which will send a query to example.com's official name server. We can see the, the IP address of example.com and lastly we use the command dig add ns attacker um, 32.com uh, www.example.com to send um, the query directly to nsattacker32.com Uh, as we can see, the setup was successful based on uh, the answer and authority and additional sections. The last part of task 4 is to construct the DNS request to send out um, queries to the DNS server on the attacker VM so they have a chance to spoof DNS replies. We will use um, the command sudo get it DNS request.py to create the Python file to send out the DNS request. The 
So we can see uh, we imported from Scappy and assigned a variable to write the contents of the DNS request to um, IP um, rec dot bin. Uh, we set um, the queue name to some random website that could be attached to attached. I'm sorry to the domain of example.com and we set the destination IP to the local DNS server and the source IP to the user VM. We set the destination port to 53 and the source port to 333 Now we run the command sudo python dot slash dns request dot py in order to sync the request to the ip um, rec dot bin file. In task 5, um, we need to spoof the DNS replies in the Kaminsky attack from example.com domain's name server. We will use the command sudo get it spoof DNS reply dot py to create the Python file to spoof the replies. We imported from Scappy and assigned a um, variable to write the contents of the spoof DNS reply to IP resp.bin. The name is set to a random website attached to the domain example.com and ns will um, be set to, to ns attacker 32.com. We set the um, destination port to the IP of the DNS server to any website in the authority, authority section of uh, example.com. So we chose um, v.iana servers.net and use the dir command to find the IP of uh, 192.43.133.53. We also switched the port numbers from before by now setting the destination port to 333 and the source port to 53. Now uh, we run the command sudo python slash, as dot slash spoof dns reply dot py in order to save that request to the ip resp in file. Um, we will put everything together to launch the Kaminsky attack where we need to send out many spoof to DNS replies and hope that one of them hits the correct transaction number and arrive sooner than the, the legitimate replies. We will use uh, the commands sudo get it attack dot c to view the C programs to launch the Kaminsky attack. When we scroll down to step one, um, we have to send a DNS request to the targeted local DNS server to trigger, trigger it to send out the DNS queries. Uh, we modify the name in the question field for, for example, for example.com with an offset of 41 to um, the request um, and call the function um, send DNS request. By using the IP rec bin file and in rec that will read the DNS request packet. Uh, we also modify the print, print f statement because leaving the percentage s will print out the whole alphabet attached to the randomly generated five letters to example.com. So we added the 0.5% 0.5% s to only print print those uh, five letters. In um, step two, uh, we will send the spoof packets to the target targeted local DNS server. And by modifying the name of the um, question field 
for example.com doing with an offset of uh, 41 to the response and modifying the name in the answer field with an offset of 64 um, to the response. Next, we, cons we constructed a for loop for to loop through um, 14,000 times to get the correct transaction ID and um, add an offset of 28 to the correct transaction ID. Uh, the transaction ID will be set to a pseudo number gener generator and DNS response will be sent using the IP RESP bin file and N RESP that will read the DNS response packet. Uh. For the execution of task 6, I had to create three new VMs on my dad's laptop on VirtualBox because the my three VMs on my MacBook crashed. For the execution of the Kaminsky attack for task 6, we will first have to open Wireshark on the attacker VM. And begin capturing the packets and now we're going to compile the tech.c and then we're going to run it and we flush the cache and we use this command to get the attacker word as we, we can see, we got the attacker word. So that means that the DNS server successfully accepted this. So now I'll stop this. And as we can see, we'll be open Wireshark. We can see the DNS query responses sent between the IP address of this server I pick from the user VM and the um, server virtual machine, which is the IP address of 10.0.2.5. Now for task seven, we have to test to see if www.example.com matches the additional and other sections in ns.attacker32.com. So now if we go here, we're going to use the dig command for example.com. And as we can see, the attack was successful because the answer authority and the additional sections match the sections of ns.attacker32.com, which means the Kaminsky attack was successful. Thank you.